Good afternoon. This is evening prayer for Friday, February the 11th. It's year one, Epiphany 5, and week five of the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 91, Mark chapter 10, verse 32 to 45, and the Song of Mary, Luke 1, verse 44 to 55. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. God himself will set me free from the foul snare. Alleluia. Psalm 91. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High and pass the night in the shadow of God, say, Yahweh, my refuge, and my mountain fortress, my God in whom I trust. For Yahweh says, I will rescue from you from the snare and shield you from poisoned arrows. I will cover you with my pinions. Under my wings you will take refuge. My faithfulness will shield you. You have no need to fear the prowlers of the night or the arrow that flies by day the plague that lurks in the shadows, or the scourge that stalks at noon. And though a thousand fall at your left side, and ten thousand at your right, it will never come near you. You will see it pass by you, and witness the punishment of the corrupt with your own eyes. Because you have made me your refuge, and have me as your stronghold, no evil will befall you, and no disaster will come near your tent. For I will command my angels to guard you wherever you go. They will carry you in their hands, so you do not hurt your foot on a stone. You will tread on the young lion as easily as one does a cobra. You'll trample down both lion and serpent. Because you love me, I will deliver you. I will rescue because you acknowledge my name. You will call upon me and I will answer you. I will be with you in trouble. I will deliver you and honor you. I will satisfy you with a long life and show you my salvation. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. God himself will set me free from the fowler snare. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 10, beginning at verse 32. They were on their way to Jerusalem, with Jesus leading the way, and the disciples were baffled by this move, while the other followers were afraid. Taking the twelve aside once more, Jesus began to tell them what was going to happen. We are on our way to Jerusalem, where the Promised One will be handed over, to the chief priests and the religious scholars, and then the promised one will be condemned to death and handed over to the Gentiles to be mocked, spat upon, flogged, and finally killed. Three days later, the promised one will rise. Zebedee's children, James and John, approached Jesus. Teacher, they said, we want you to grant our request. And what is your request, Jesus asked. They replied, See it to it that we sit next to you, one at your right and one at your left, when you come into your glory. And Jesus told them, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup I will drink, or be baptized in the same baptism as I? We can, they replied. And Jesus said in response, From the cup I drink of, you will drink. The baptism, baptism I am immersed in, you will share. But as for sitting at my right or my left, that is not mine to give. It is for those to whom it has been reserved. And the other ten on hearing this became indignant at James and John. Jesus called them together and said, You know how among the Gentiles those who exercise authority are domineering and arrogant. Those great ones know how to make their own importance felt. But it cannot be like that with you. Anyone among you who aspires to greatness must serve the rest. Whoever wants to rank first among you must serve the needs of all. 
The promised one has not come to be served, but to serve, to give one life in ransom for the many. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, that there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in the church, and peace in the whole world, that we may depart this life in faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, that we may be bound together by the Holy Spirit in the communion of Francis and Claire and all the saints in trusting one another and all of our lives to Christ and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Alleluia, the song of Mary. My soul proclaims your greatness, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You have done great things for me. Holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you in every generation. You have shown the strength of your arm. You have scattered the proud in their conceit. You have cast down the mighty from their thrones and lifted the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you have sent away empty-handed. You have come to the help of your servant Israel. For you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah and their children forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.